Library Nation. All right, children fans, do you know what a um, lash lift is? I don't know what that is. I I could tell you what you know a pin and pull is. I could tell you what a cover two defense is, but I don't know what that is. But you know who knows what that is? Your girl. So <laughs> your your significant other, your wife, um, your your fiance, they know what that is. So why don't you go to Instagram? Go to Christine's Beauty Bar. Check out Christine's Beauty Bar on Instagram. Promo code right on the bottom: P O R S B R, and get twenty percent off her, her services. That she will take care of that part of it, and then you can sit down and watch the game. You can watch the, the watch the new college football season. You can watch the new and uh, the new NFL season. You can watch the baseball playoffs. All those things, and she will be happy. You will be happy. And then when the appointment's over and the game's over, y'all can come together, go have a nice dinner out on the beach, rooftop bars. The, those things are, are are big in Southern California. So check out Christine's Beauty Bar um, on Instagram. Make an appointment. She'll take care of your significant other in every way facial, all that stuff like that. And then she'll get that lash lift. I don't know where it is. Like I said, I don't know where it is, but I can guarantee you that your girl does. Caught into two race at the one. Wow, what a miraculous grab by Brendan Nice. Look how much time Caleb Williams bought on that play. If we can get a stopwatch at some point. Welcome to the Put On Waivers Media Group home of the Put On Raiders podcast and the Student Body Right podcast. This is your place for the best breakdowns and the best insight for those who fight on and bleed silver and black. Now, here are your hosts, Dwayne Douglas and Ryan Holmes. And welcome everybody to the glorious episode of the Student Body Right. USC podcast. I'm your host, Dwayne Douglas. And as always, I am podcasting off the beautiful shores of the Pacific Ocean. Beautiful day out here in Southern California. P O R S B R is my Twitter handle. So check me out there. Also, you know, check out Coach B, um, Blue D V L 21 um, on, on Twitter. Really good football stuff there. And also, you can check out his show, We, we Run the Yard, as well, talking about all college football um, as well. So the um, top 25 from the AP came out. So we'll talk about that. Talk about um Juju Smith. What is Juju? Sorry, Juju, Juju Smith. Juju Lewis with his new photo shoot on um on Instagram, and then Gavin Myers Impact and and Camp. But first, Christine's Beauty Bar. Um, you saw the commercial at, at the very beginning. So just de- definitely check her out. Um, if you like, I said you have you have that significant other, wife, fiance, girlfriend, or whatever label she is. It's a great way to get her um, situated so you can situate yourself in front of the TV to watch USC football or Raider football or baseball playoffs or whatever you uh, float your boat as far as your, as far as your sports um, your sports tendencies go. Um, 23, people people, people kind of blow me up asking me, hey, what, what, what do I think about 23 being USC being ranked 23 and the AP top 25? I think it's right there is right about where they kind of should be. Um, we know about Lincoln Riley. We know about um, his, his, you know, I think they had a graphic where he scored, his team scored 41 points a game, uh, 41, averaging 41 points a game um, for the, for the time he's been a head coach. So we know about the points. We want to start, we don't, we want to see if they can get stops and it's see, and, and, and we all know what they did defensively to with this, with this coaching staff, they got some transfers here. They got some people who are, they have to develop on this roster, but the defense is probably one of the biggest things they have to take care of. So we know that, and that's what people are waiting to see. Um, you know, but they've heard the talk about it. They've heard people say some stuff about it, but at some point you have to see, you have to see if we kind of the proof is in the pudding. We're like 18 days away from seeing um, that that putting, you know, be put to test. And you got to see what you, you got to see what USC is defensively before you make a big, um, you know, really big about their season. They have to be able to defend, defend um, their goal line, have to be able to not give up big plays. And 100% it's going to be a show me situation for them. Like the, 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 the voters, everybody around college football, they want to see you, you're seeing that USC is going to be different on, on defense. So we have to make sure that they are different. Um, and if they are going to be different, um, they have to show it. 
and if they can show it, then it's all good to go as far as far as that is. And and I think you know with this influx of coaching talent, influx of player talent, they have a chance to. And I think you know the bar is kind of low. Like we're just we're just saying like don't give up forty, and don't don't give up thirty five points a game. Like you know anything thirty or anything between twenty and thirty will take. And then at, at that point, the game is in Lincoln Riley's hands to go win it. So we'll see about that. This is the first really bad year from Lincoln Riley. So of course, this is an opportunity for for SC. And Lincoln Riley to show that he can bounce back after a bad year. So th- th- that's where he is. That's where like we're sitting. We're sitting here in this holding pattern to see if he can actually um, bounce back from a bad from, from from a bad year. USC can't be seven and five again. Seven and five is not the um is the mark you want to have SC at. So if they can bounce back, uh. You know, against LSU, against Michigan, against you know, it's a really kind of a four game season. They can go four and they can go two and two in those games, um, and, and, and those four tough games, and they should be fine. But they have to go do it. And I think the LSU game is going to be a big test to see if um, USC is up to the challenge um, as far as the, as far as the uh, new the new season goes in twenty twenty four. Juju um, Lewis again, just you know, just chilling, and everybody's waiting on him to to quote unquote shut down his recruiting and we'll see if he does that or not and i think you know this is a lesson learned i think from lincoln riley a lesson learned from um from fans and everything like that he is still committed to sc um he's, he's said as much and he's talked to adam brenneman about um his commitment his, his, his commitment to, to, to sc i think at the end of the day though we have to look at it and just say you know it is i think for uh for him it's it's, it's an honor for him to to be playing for for SC and and play for um Lincoln Riley. So if you're going to be able to um play for Lincoln Riley and he offers you cuz he doesn't offer a lot of guys at quarterback at the, at the quarterback position. It is kind of like 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 I understand you go through it once and you, and you go through all your recruitment stuff with everybody else. I understand it. It's cool. But like at some point you got to sit back and say, damn, like, can I possibly get an answer? Are you coming or not? <laughs> like, you, you know, I, 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 I'm a quarterback guru. I have, I've done this before. I'm, I'm, I am, I am the walking, I'm the, I'm, a, I'm the walking, um, you know, Heisman trophy. You might as well, you might as well put my advisor on the Heisman trophy because everybody I touch go gets to be a Heisman finalist or wins the Heisman. So that's something, that's something you got to think about if, if you're like in Raleigh. Like, I mean, does he ever want to go through this again? Because it seems like any any other quarterback would jump right in the bus and say, hey, well, I'm going to USC. I'm not going to I'm not gonna mess around and mess up an offer from the guy who was the preeminent offensive play caller in all of college football. Um, I did listen to some of USA, uh, the Peristyle podcast, Peristyle podcast guys, and a guy who we, we, we kind of broke down his all-22 tape um before and that was gavin meyer and i thought gavin meyer really has a he is that lunch pail like just dog of a man on the defensive cell and on the defensive tackle position he can help bear alexander i think he can also get a little bit of pass rush in there on third downs so i I really like gavin meyer a lot and i think that's something that's something that usc really has to um kind of kind of get into um as far as getting him in getting him snaps and I know they were talking about that today where you know Lincoln Ryan likes him a lot and I think that you know he's a guy who I've talked about you know kind of analyzing him a little bit because I do like his play I think he's I think he is a dog in every single way he'll fit right into that dog worth mentality that dog work mentality he really he really works hard and really fights um, offensive lineman, you, you hand placement, all those things like that. He does a lot of different things to help um, a defense um, get get things going on the on the defensive line. And anything you can do with a defensive lineman that's not named Barry Alexander helps Barry Alexander. <laughs> helps Barry helps, helps Barry Alexander in the, in the biggest way. So um, you want to see Gavin Meyer do his thing. Hopefully, he continues to do so um, at, at, at fall camp, and then when when it comes to the first of September. When they play LSU, he'll be doing this thing. LSU is really not. I, I listen to a bunch of LSU podcasts, and they're really not thinking this is going to be a game. Um, they really, they I think they're 
you know, they're looking at that six point, that six point spread. And they're thinking that they're going to win this game kind of going away. Um, they might think, you know, USC, USC might give up a couple of big plays against their defense that's still recovering from last year. But they think it's going to be, um, you know, a, maybe a, what, 40, 40 to 20 game in, in favor of the Tigers. So we'll see if they're right. We'll see what happens there as far as USC and that opener. Big opener um, in Allegiant Stadium versus LSU. All right, short show today. Just want to get some news and notes out there for you. Um, Student Battle Right USC podcast. And listen, you got if you got that in Southern California, if you live in Southern California, if you want to hook up your girl with a little spa day thing, um, check out um, Christine's, Christine's, uh, Christine's Beauty Bar as well, too. She has some really nice stuff for you. All right, peace and always fight on, folks. <laughs>